History was made yesterday, everyone. The new McMurtry Spearling electric fan car, driven by ex Formula One driver Max Chilton, broke the Goodwood Festival of Speed hill climb record with a time of 39.08. The question is, though, how is it that fast? How has a small little car company based in the Cotswolds managed to take on and beat the leviathans of the automotive industry, such as VW? Well, let's dive into some of the reasons why. Let's first put this into context as to how fast this is. The long-standing Goodwood Festival of Speed hill climb record was set by Nick Heidfeld driving a McLaren Formula One car with a time of 41.6 seconds. Now this was set all the way back in 1999. That record was broken a few years ago by the Volkswagen IDR in 2019. Now that set a lap time of a 39.9 driven by Romain Dumas, the first sub 40 lap time ever set at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Now that is almost two seconds faster than the McLaren Formula One car driven by Heidfeld in 99. The McMurtry Spearling is faster than one of the fastest Formula One cars of the generation, and it's faster than a no rules bound all out hyper race car developed by one of the biggest automotive industries of the modern era. This car has certainly come out of the gate swinging, and to be fair, it's landing some pretty good punches. McMurtry Automotive was founded in 2016 by successful entrepreneur Sir David McMurtry. Him and his team have been pushing the boundaries right from the word go, having only been a company for six years, two of which were heavily limited by the COVID pandemic, they have created one of the most impressive automotive engineering pieces of kit in history. And there doesn't seem to be any signs of them slowing down. They want to push the boundaries even further, even faster. Let me throw you some numbers as well, along with a couple of comparisons with a couple of cars that you will most probably be familiar with. The Spearling weighs just shy of a thousand kilos and generates a thousand horsepower. Now, if you do some quick maths on that, it produces near as makes no difference a thousand brake horsepower per ton. To put that into context, the Porsche 918 Spider produces 522 brake horsepower per ton. So just a little bit more. 0 to 60 for the Spearling takes just one and a half seconds, and 0 to 186 miles an hour takes an absolutely eye watering nine seconds. To again put that into perspective, a Bugatti Chiron Supersport takes 12.1 seconds to get to the same 186 miles an hour, a full three seconds slower than the Spearling. Even in hill climb trim, the McMurtry Spearling can top out at 150 miles an hour due to some of the gearbox changes they made to maximize the acceleration. The team also say that the 60 kilowatt hour battery pack can produce around 30 to 60 minutes of on-track driving time, which again is very, very impressive, but it does lead to the fact that this car weighs so little, it doesn't necessarily need to lug around a lot of weight. With a car that is this fast, 30 minutes I'm sure would be quite a hefty toll on the body, so I don't really think they necessarily need to actually aim for any more than that in one sitting. Although considering how they've managed to push the boundaries with everything else, I'm sure this is something they're gonna to want to push even further as well. This is also the first fan car to compete in motorsport since 1978. This Batmobile-esque rocket ship has two 80 brake horsepower fans behind the driver's seat, sucking air from the bottom of the car and firing it out of the back. It's a very complicated system, but in short, the fans create a low pressure underneath the car, sucking the car into the ground. This is very, very similar to the modern style of ground effect that is used in the modern Formula One cars of today. The biggest difference though, is that the skirted area for the Spearling is around the size of a bodyboard that sits just below the driver, rather than being the entire width of the car from seal to seal. However, while conventional aerodynamics needs air to pass over the car to generate the downforce pushing the car into the ground, the McMurtry Spearling can generate downforce at a complete standstill. More specifically, it can generate 2,000 kilos of downforce without moving. A Formula One car needs to be traveling over 150 miles an hour to produce the same numbers in terms of downforce. Every conceivable number about this car is unlike anything we've ever seen. The only car that I can remember ever being like this and producing this level of numbers that we haven't actually seen is the original Bugatti Veyron, 
When that car came out all the way back in 2004, 2005, it was a complete game changer for the automotive industry and really showed what could be possible. And that's happened again. This is the next automotive leap in terms of engineering that we've actually seen physically being run at somewhere like Goodwood. McMurtry have announced that they are also making a road going version of the Spearling that people are able to buy. One would imagine that it will be limited somewhat in terms of power, but it does mean that, especially for the day-to-day -day use and the fact that the car is so slippery, it doesn't actually have the conventional aerodynamics to slow the car down and generate unnecessary drag. It could very well be a surprisingly economical electric car with a very, very decent range. The fact that the Spearling is also a fully electric car does mean that your UK road tax will be zero, just in case you did want to pop yourself down for one. This is a futuristic piece of engineering and who knows where the McMurtry team are going to be in the next six months or even in the next year. They've smashed the Goodwood Festival of Speed record with a 39.08. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be the very, very first of a lot of records that are going to be broken with this car. One of the more interesting ones that I'm going to be excited to see possibly in the future is the infamous Nürburgring Nordschleife. If they can manage to get that car around that circuit, I would be very, very impressed to see what time that it can actually do. Let me know what track you would like to see the McMurtry Spearling try and lap as fast as it physically can. Thank you everyone for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.